What's up, everybody? What's up, everybody? What's up, everybody? What's up, guys? Thank you for tuning in again to Hakajuki Michaela Mookie. So, y'all, I don't know what, why this even happened, to be honest. But, okay, so I was on Facebook today, and I was just, you know, scrolling, scrolling. looking at my timeline and stuff, and then, you know, I was commenting on some stuff that I seen that I liked on whoever page, and then I would, um, like, share some stuff. And then I came across this girl... This girl, she made a big old post, like a big, huge, a big, huge post, and uh, I read it. So I was bored. I was at work. I was bored. I was on my break, and it was some pictures involved and stuff of somebody, I guess, her, somebody getting, you know, um, like bruises and stuff, being like in a domestic violence type of situation. So, um, not the first time I've seen this person comment about something like this. I never said nothing out of mind my business or whatever. But, I mean, okay. One thing, before I even finish the story. Comment or whatever. And let me know if you think I'm wrong. If you or anybody posts something on Facebook, anything, Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat. If you post that stuff, your page and stuff is like public and whatever. Doesn't that give um, the people that sees that? Doesn't that give them the right to like comment or um, you know say something about whatever you posted? Could be good. Could be bad. It's something. I mean, you put it out there for the whole world to see. You wanted somebody's attention. Whoever attention that you're gonna catch. They're going to, you know, reply back or say something or, you know, um, express how they feel about whatever you posted. So, that's what, I don't know. I've been in a situation, I post stuff sometimes or used to post stuff on Facebook sometimes, you know, saying too much information or whatever about a person. And people would comment and they would express how they felt about whatever I posted. I would, I used to get mad, but I mean, I can't, you can't really get mad because you post it out there so the whole world can see it. So like, I don't know. So today I was, you know, like I was saying, I was uh, scrolling down my time log, timeline. And you know, I just seen something and I'm, I was tired of seeing, I'm tired of seeing stuff like this. In my city, where I'm from, it's, the, it's been, they said, like a hundred, like a thousand domestic violence um, call, police calls. That's a lot. in this year, 2019. This year only been here for like, gonna be four months or four months. So that's not even a long time. For a thousand and some domestic violence calls to police, like, that's crazy. So something in my spirit told me to like, comment on the girl status or uh, her post so i just commented on it said something like why are you i said but you're still with that person shaking my head i've never been in that situation so i don't really know how she feel or whatever but something told me to comment and say that and she i guess got offended and said some stuff and then she blocked me on the facebook then I guess when you when you block somebody you unfriend them. So and when she did that, she replied back to my comment, but I couldn't see it. So I was trying to figure out what, why she didn't just say, you know, thank you for the comment, but no thank you, something I don't know. But what she did was totally I think was uncalled for. Or she could have maybe you know inboxed me. If she had some more to say to me, I think I don't know. So what y'all, what y'all think about that? Anybody got an opinion about that? She posted it on Facebook about the situation, big giant paragraph, and I just commented and said, "Why are you like you're still with him? At the end of the day, you're still gonna be with that person." And then she wanted to try to bring up some of my old business, you know. 
This ain't got nothing to do with me. You got something to do with you. I'm not posting nothing about my business, my relationship, my man on Facebook anymore. I used to. If you want to look up that history, you can go out and do it because I don't care. I'm not ashamed of it, but that's old stuff. You're, this is some new 2019 just happened type stuff with you that you're going through. So that's why I said what I said. situation is totally different i post a, i post a video about my my situation or you know pieces of it so you get a little a little you know preview or whatever of my situation i'll post that one of these days and i record it but it's not really that serious it's not not that serious but you don't see me posting my business like that on facebook or any social media like that about what's going on with my business but you're sharing your business with the public. 2019 is April. You're sharing your uh, business and saying, you know, the things you're saying about what's going on in your business relationship or something. So that gives anybody who sees that the right to to po uh, to reply, right? Is people on there saying, oh, sa -da -da -da, I'm sorry to hear that. And that's what she probably want to hear. But sometimes you got to hear what you don't want to hear. I heard it a lot. <laughs> I had to. I had to. So, I don't know. Maybe I should never comment. Maybe I should have just looked and kept looking away. But then I'm like, no. I need to comment. Something in my spirit told me to comment. Because maybe that was, maybe that was a message from God to send to her to leave that man alone. Because what if something happened to her? Not wishing something to do, but what if something happened to her with this man? What if this man hurt this girl? I don't know this girl, but I, I know of her and stuff like that. So what if something what if I'm, you know, sending a little signal, something to her to save her? If he keep on hurting you and doing stuff to you, married or not, you need to get out. Like, Jordan, you need to get out. Get out now. Leave that man alone. There's more men in this world. It is, especially with some beating, some beating type stuff, like where you, you getting hurt and stuff like that. No, you need to leave that man alone. I'm laughing, but I'm serious. Leave that man. I never been in no situation like that where uh, a boyfriend of mine tried to beat me. I never been in that situation. But I feel like if I was to be in that situation, I would leave. I would leave him alone and break it off as quickly as best as I can. That's what I think I would do. I've seen a lot of people that I know close to me that get hurt and abused by their boyfriend. I don't want that to happen to me. she see this video i hope she see it maybe i was trying to help you girl maybe i'm sorry you made it i i just posted the, the comment and you took it you turned it left and then you turned it right and then you flipped it upside down and then that's you left it like how it is now so <sighs> sorry not sorry <laughs> whatever if you watching this video you really like listen to what I just said if it makes sense to you because it makes sense to me what what would you have done would you a would have not commented at all or would you be would have said what I said or said something would you see I don't know <laughs> I don't know what would you would have did for real like because um I think I don't know I think I was supposed to do that, maybe. I know somebody coming on my stuff. I can't say nothing. I just, you know, like it. If I don't want to look at it, delete it. Something. But what she did was uncalled for. And I didn't want to hurt the girl feelings, but I kind of hurt it. What would you do? What, what would you have done in that situation? Now I am not her friend on Facebook anymore. She blocked me and she's probably talking mad 
hella shit about me and I can't do nothing about it. <laughs> but for real, like, what would you do? Okay, anyways. Like, comment, and subscribe. And I, I really like and appreciate everybody that's been tuning in with me and checking out the videos. Like them, share them. You know, get the girl out there. Let's get some more subscribers. Where, where are my Mookie supporters? Uh, I was looking for my Mookie supporters. Can't wait to see you guys. Hakajuki Mookie, and that's H A R A J U K U M A K A Y L A. Mookie. Now go ahead and do that now and show your girl some love.